Hello all, as promised, the video, Charlie Horse, written by Paul Ricciuti and illustrated by James Converse. Charlie Horse. Long before anyone ever heard of an automobile, there lived a horse named Charlie. His home was in the state of Vermont. He was just a country horse. No one had ever written down when Charlie was born, so no one knew how old he was. You know, I did mention to you that there's a way for you to know how old a horse is. You can look at the teeth of the horse, but I guess they did not do that with Charlie. Charlie was big and strong, and he looked smart. He had spots on him the color of chestnuts. And we said they kind of looked like chicken pox. Anyway, hardly Anyone paid attention to Charlie because he was swayed, sway backed. As you can see, the dip in his back. Sway back. That's not an ordinary thing. Back in the days when Charlie lived, people rode on boats big paddle wheels on their sides. They rode on swaying trains and in wagons or carriages pulled by horses. When the, it snowed, people rode in sleighs with seats on them. Horses like Charlie pulled wagons, sleighs, carriages, and buggies. And there he is, this horse pulling a sleigh. This is not Charlie, of course. You've heard of it, right? The one horse open sleigh, like in the song Jingle Bells. Well, yeah, there it is. One day in the town near where Charlie lived, a man and his wife got off the stagecoach, got off, sorry, at the stagecoach stop. They looked very tired. Their names were James and Ellen White. The Whites had friends to meet them. Their friends took them home. They fed the Whites and gave them a room with a big soft bed. Now I told you this is the way people traveled before. This is called a stagecoach and it will carry a few people and they would have their suitcases on the top and it will go from place to place. It was not easy to travel like this. Now we don't have this anymore. We have the coach buses like the ones that take us to Pennsylvania to Sesame Place. James and Ellen White had come to Vermont on God's business. James was a preacher. Angels talked to Ellen and gave her messages from God. The Whites had come to Vermont to talk to the Adventists. The Adventists wanted to hear what God had to say through Ellen's friends, the angels. So this might have been what the train looked like that they would have traveled on. And this is the boat. These types of boats had the big paddle wheels on the side. You're not seeing the wheel, it probably is on the other side of the boat. But yes, this is what it would have looked like. The whites were not rich. They did not have money to buy a horse and carriage of their own. It wasn't much fun to travel on a stagecoach, a train, a boat, or a wagon. Traveling was hard. 
and they didn't have the nice soft seats like we have now either and it was all bumpity so I don't know if I would like to travel like this but they had to the people in Vermont were very kind to Mr. and Mrs. White. They listened to what the Whites had to tell them. All the time that they listened, they kept thinking, what can we do to help the Whites? Then someone had an idea, and everyone liked it. They wanted to keep the idea a secret. It was to be a surprise. Here they are, talking about what they might do to help the whites. Look at the way they're dressed. People don't dress like this anymore. Nor do they wear their hair like this. Hmm, interesting. Ooh, James and Ellen sleeping in that soft, big bed that we spoke about earlier. Look who's standing next to Ellen. Looks like an angel. The night before the Whites were to go home, Ellen had a visitor. It was one of her angel friends. The angel told her about Charlie. Watch this, the angel said. As she watched, Ellen saw a picture of two country roads. The roads crossed each other. Then she saw some men at the crossroads. Around the men were wagons, a shiny carriage, and several horses. The angel told Ellen that her Adventist friends were going to surprise her and James with a gift. The gift was to be a new covered carriage and a horse. Wow! It was like gifting them a car. That's the, what they would have gotten in those days. The people will ask you to choose a horse, said the angel. There will be three to choose from. Ellen saw a beautiful golden brown horse prance in front of her. That is one of the horses, the angel told her. But don't chew, don't take that one. There it is, big, beautiful golden horse. And she's seen a picture of this in her mind. Ellen continues to look, and the angel is showing her some more. Let's see what else she finds out. Then another horse trotted past. It was a big, strong, gray horse kind of looks brown here but it was a gray one don't choose that one either the angel said she continues to watch the third horse she saw was a large spotted chestnut colored one it was sway backed it was Charlie that is the horse for you, the angel said. Choose that one. In the morning, the whites got ready to leave for home. Their friends came by and took them for a ride into the country. They stopped where the two roads crossed. Ellen saw everything happen just like as she had seen it the night before. When their friends showed the whites the three horses, Mrs. White said, we will choose this one. She pointed to Charlie. This is them on their way to the country where they will get to pick their horse and pick up their surprise. Here he is doing his favorite thing, eating apples. Charlie became the White's own horse. He was gentle and strong and good. He always obeyed their commands. The angel knew that Charlie was a good horse. There they are in their new 
Surrey, which was the version of a car in those days. And there is good old Charlie waiting to take them where they wanted to go. The whites thanked God many times for Charlie. He was a real blessing to them. There he is again. The end. Now, as we said, Charlie, although he had a sway back, was a wonderful horse to them. And they were able to use him for many years. Is there a lesson here? Yes, there is. You may not look the part. You may not even think you are good enough. But God has a special plan for everyone. And as it says here, God has special plans even for horses. Charlie was just a country horse. Hardly anyone paid attention to him. That is, until an angel told Ellen White that Charlie was the perfect horse for her. And she listened to that angel, and she and Charlie had a wonderful time as they went on their way doing what God wanted them to do. Just remember that even though you may feel sometimes that you are not as special as somebody else, God has a plan for your life, just as he had a plan for Charlie's life. Thank you, boys and girls. Bye now.